As you can see, this is about real numbers, mantissa and exponent. Um, this is part of the arrangements from computer systems and data representation. Uh, by this point, you should have learned about two's complement and um, converting from binary to denary and denary to binary. Okay, so this is the part of the arrangements that we are looking at today. Describe and exemplify floating point representation of positive and negative numbers using the terms mantissa and exponent. The one underneath as well, we're going to have a look at, so describe the relationship between the number of bits assigned to mantissa and exponent and the range and precision of floating point numbers. So real numbers, you'll hear this term, it's actually just any number which has a fractional part um, and it's stored in uh, floating point representation when it comes to being stored in a computer. So in decimal, floating point stores the number as a power of 10. So something like 34006.8 would end up being 3.4068 times 10 to the power of 4. In this example, 3.40068 is the mantissa and 4 is the exponent. So this is similar in binary. Um, you can see in the example below, the first number, the 1101.01001, can be converted into a floating point representation number. This would result in it being 0 0.110 and so on, times 2 to the power of 100. Now the times 2 reflects that it's a binary number rather than a decimal number because we are using two numbers, only 0 and 1, rather than 10 numbers in decimal. The exponent at the top is 100, which represents 4 in binary because the decimal point has moved 4 places. Okay, so obviously accuracy is hugely important in life and it's also important in numbers. If I was to be sent up in a rocket to space and somebody offered me to either have a calculation of the angle as 1.5 or 1.59116782412, the second one would be more accurate and I would probably choose that one uh, just to make sure. So when it comes to floating point representation, it's the mantissa which determines how accurate a number is. 3.14 is not as accurate as 3.14515926.5. So the larger the mantissa, the more accurate the number will be. When it comes to the exponent, the more numbers you use in order to store the exponent, uh, the larger the range can be. For instance, 10 to the power of 99 is far smaller than 10 to the power of 9999. The second one would allow a lot more of a range of numbers. So when it comes to mantissa and exponent, remember the word mere. Mantissa will determine the accuracy of a number and the number of uh, bits used for the exponent will determine the range of the number. So say I needed to represent a number on a computer and I had 16 bits to do so. I could allocate 8 bits to save the mantissa and 8 bits to save the exponent. Now that doesn't mean necessarily that I would do that. I could actually say, right, I'm going to have 12 bits from the mantissa and 4 bits saved for the exponent. Now you can see here that the number of bits has gone up in the second example for the mantissa. So this means that the accuracy has increased. You can see in this second example, 
and the number of bits has decreased for the exponent so that means that the range has also decreased. If we used more bits for the exponent the range would increase. If we used less uh, bits for the mantissa in this example the accuracy would have decreased and it just goes back to this mayor. If the exponent goes up so does range, if mantissa goes up so does accuracy. But if you've got a limited amount of bits, if one of them goes up the other one needs to go down.